Hi, it's Shandy from Expression Fiber Arts, and today we're going to learn how to crochet. I'm going to show you how to do a slip knot, super easy, a chain, super easy as well, and a single crochet. These are basic stitches that you've got to know if you're going to be a crocheter, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, you're going to need a hook, and today I'm using a size H. You also need some worsted weight yarn in the color of your choice. And enthusiasm! Ah! <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun! Let's get started. Okay, let's do a slip knot. You wanna make a loop with your yarn like so. Reach through that loop, grab your tail, and pull up another loop. And that is your slip knot. So easy. I'll show you again just in case you missed it. Make a loop with your yarn, reach through that loop, grab your tail, and pull up a loop. Ta da! That is a slip knot. So easy. Okay, insert that loop onto your hook. You want to cinch it up so it's on the fat part, not the little skinny tip. This is going to come in handy later. Tension your yarn like so, and grab with your thumb and middle finger the little slip knot. Okay, you can hold your hook like a pen, as if you were writing, or like a knife, which is what I'm going to do today. Okay, here's the basic motion of chaining. Take your hook, go under your yarn, point your little hook downward, and pull it through that first little loop. Ta-da! That is a chain. I told you it was easy. Make sure it's just fitted onto the fat part of your hook there, and let's do it again. These are called yarn overs, by the way. So you do a yarn over, make sure your little hook is pointing downwards, and pull it through the loop. Ta-da! Another chain. Yay! It's so fun and so easy. All right, go ahead and do it again, making sure that your little loop is just on the little fat part of your hook there. Again, point it downwards and pull it through. And do, oh, you know, eight, 10, 12 chains, however many you wanna do. It doesn't really matter, we're just learning today. And there you go. So let's go ahead and do a single crochet. You're gonna skip this first little chain, just skip that one. Take your hook and insert it into the next chain. Just the one little side of that chain there, like so. All right, now we're gonna do a yarn over just like we did for the chain stitches with your hook pointing downwards and pull it through just that chain. And you now have two little loops on your hook. Okay, do a yarn over again and pull that yarn through both loops on your hook, like so. And that is a single crochet. I told you it was easy. Okay. Do a single crochet, what I just showed you, in every chain all the way across to the end. Just keep on going till you reach the end. And once you're done, you're going to do a chain one. This gets your hook up into position. Go ahead and turn your work around and we're going to go back the way we came. So insert your hook into the top of the last single crochet in the row before and work another single crochet. Let me zoom in and show you how that works. Insert into both little legs up there. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Insert, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. And do that all the way across. And you're gonna repeat this row until you've finished your little sample piece. It's really, really easy. So once you've completed your whole work, you're gonna do a little chain one and pull the end through. You'll have cut it first, of course. And then to make sure your ends don't unravel, you're gonna weave them in just kind of randomly. I hope this video was clear and that you loved it. If you did, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. It would just make my day. And comment below with what future videos you want to see and I will do what I can to make that happen. All right, just go ahead and give your ends a little snip, snip. Go ahead and do both of them. Snip. And you're done. That, that's it, that's all you do. Please head over to my blog and sign up for my email newsletter so that I can let you know when I have future videos out. Thank you so much, see you next time, bye-bye.